Sup YouTube, what's going on? Barack Obama here and welcome to Night What. That came in like a firework. And why is the video messed up too? It's like off to the side. I fixed the scaling, I don't, I don't know how to center it though, it must be bugged. Gentlemen, welcome to Night Watch. This is a game I played a while back. And considering that we wanted more variety on the channel, this game by Puppet Combo is a great game to start with. It's certainly setting the mood, I'll give it that. Beethoven really pulled out the Adams Family for this masterpiece. It's like if death had a ringtone or something. Huh, looks like the screen centered itself. First night on the job, I have a feeling it's gonna be a long one. I just need to stay awake. Seems like that's mission impossible for one of us, not specifying who. So from the appearance of things, we're a park ranger and we have to watch over the forest or something. You get the overall gist of things. Well, as the world's best security guard, I'm here to fill in the role of guarding the night. Forest fire inbound. And that's coming from the man who mixed kerosene for scented candles and threw it at the Turks as a welcoming gift. Just focus on the game, Don. What is there to focus on? All I'm doing is surveying the abyss that's going to swallow us whole. My guess is that we have to be stationed up here for the whole night and some spooky things are going to ensue. No kidding, if we got a full moon in the sky, that's when all of the, the weeaboos come out of their hiding places. The what now? You know, weeaboos. The hairy creatures that only come out when there's a full moon. I think you mean werewolves. You're telling me there's a difference? Well, not in the looks department. And certainly not in the hygiene area either. So what's the difference then? Huh, you got a point. Hey Don, you see that beam of light? I see it. Is someone signaling for aliens or something? Are there crop circles out there too? That was an oddly specific train of thought you just went on. On second glance, it looks like smoke. Looks like a campsite a few miles west. I can see the bonfire from here. So are there campers out in the wild that we have to look out for? Well, if that's the case, they're on their own. I was hired to watch the night, not them. I think a park ranger is getting paid to do more than just count the stars. Not this park ranger. If I'm this low on life to work at this job, then I clearly have no respect for me or anybody else. Remind me to stay away from the pool if you're the lifeguard. I think the pool itself would stay away. Either that or evaporate. Why? Because he's the size of the sun or the color of it. Why not both? This is professional levels of hatred right now. And why is the radio on? Uh-oh. Hello, is anyone there? I'm guessing this is some communication device. Hello? This is some advanced ding-dong ditching. If these people need help, I'm hanging up on them. Somehow that's not the worst thing you've said in the past week. You're on the Parks Department emergency line. Do you have an emergency? If they're calling you, it's their un... Is that breathing? Either that or someone's having a hysterectomy. Never mind. It might be your unlucky day. This isn't funny, and it isn't a game. Unless you have an emergency, please do not use this channel. Just some damn kids and their pranks. Jim, are you thinking with a fist in your mouth? Either a goat just got mutilated or we just got a call from the Redditor hotline. How is this some damn kids? Jim's the textbook definition of an optimist. It's whatever. I'll take the flashlight, though. I'm surprised Donald hasn't committed any federal offenses yet. Just give him time. Like you care about the environment at all. That's all I really care about is environmental protection and the procedures that go behind that goal. Where do you get the chutzpah to make that claim? What are you, a Frenchman? Just say balls like the rest of us. Stop riding my prostate, Obama. And if you gave the time of day to climb it, that bill wouldn't have been signed to greenlight hazardous emissions. There goes our glaciers. Donald, you have no room to talk. If you truly cared about the atmosphere and the environment, then you wouldn't have allowed heavy tax cuts for the meat industry. As if I started it. Besides, you know that production of our agriculture is a fundamental necessity for the American people to truly thrive. I'm not targeting the agricultural impact that our farms have. I am specifically mentioning the production of beef and poultry. Not only is it inhumane to the animals that just live to die, but it's damaging our ecosystem the more it continues. If this is a veganism discussion, I'm immediately tuning you out. Veganism is... Not listening. Real mature once again, Don. Stop throwing a tantrum. A cultural shift in environmental growth would certainly prevent further destruction of our planet. You know what, Obama? You've done a great thing. That's a surprising praise. The generator? Right after that scream, too. Shit, is it out of gas? It seems like this is powered by a generator. Anyways, Don, what were you saying about me doing a great thing? Exactly. You've convinced me to DoorDash Texas Roadhouse and a nice sloppy porterhouse. If you were in the mood for some cow, just slice off some of your stomach. You could use the loss. And I can give you the leftovers so you can grow out of the crippled antelope phase that you're in. I legitimately just mentioned climate. How did we spiral to this? 
We got a letter to read. Open it up. Finally out on your first watch duty. You're going to love it. Peaceful nights and all the fresh air that you could ever want. This is an easy job, but you still need to stay on top of things. So we knew what we were getting into. Interesting. Make sure you make a round and check for fires every 30 minutes. Oh. So wait, we do have to look for fires? I guess Smokey the Bear is not going to be happy with us. Nor the federal government. Pissing them off is like a walk in the park for Don. Be aware that you also have a radio tuned to the Emergency Ranger Channel. Hikers are directed to use this channel in case of any trouble. It's unlikely, but make sure to keep the radio on. Use the satellite phone in case any emergencies and backup will be on the way. Another ranger will be there to relieve you next week. You can ride back out on his horse. In the meantime, enjoy yourself. You have plenty of supplies. Something's not right. What do you mean? It's just odd that this letter stresses for us to relax. But then that stuff on the radio happens and our generator goes out. It feels like we're being set up here. Whether it's some vandals that are going to damage the forest or other, even worse. I don't have a good feeling about it. Glad we're on the same page, but what do we do from here? Remember, the lights are still out. We haven't gone down to fill up the generator. Let's hope we're not going to get ambushed or something down there. Well, now you just set us up. Why is this watchtower so tall? It would be faster if you didn't move as slow as a Walmart cart. I think I even move faster than that. When you're walking or falling, that is. Sitting at this rate. Well, I'm down here. Is this the generator? I'm assuming so. Just make sure to pour the gas carefully. The generator? It must have run out of gas. Problem-solving skills would tell you to go find out where the gas is. There's a shed right next to me, isn't there? At least your observation skills are on point. I've seen one too many movies where we get wrangled in the shed and bagged up like a dead pile of leaves. Do we have a handgun as a park ranger? Depends on what park we're in. For a park in France, our flashlight probably dual wields as a surrender flag. Typical Frenchman. Hopefully we're in the best nation in the world. The very best. At least you found the gas can. I'll be the one that picks it up too. Last time you got a hold of gas, you fueled our planes instead of our cars. The hell does that mean? Take it as you will. That sounded like the fattest piss I've ever heard. Shut up. Donald, as a broke man amongst billionaires, what do you think of other rich men? First of all, I'm also a billionaire, very rich and handsome. <laughs> I heard that. Good, I laughed loudly. And that's too broad of a landscape, Obama. You have to be specific, very specific, instead of rich men. Okay, um, Elon Musk. Me and Elon go back, well, way back. He, he's one of the great geniuses of this time, maybe all time. He does well with rockets and Tesla. I know he likes Tesla. And Twitter, great that he owns Twitter, very great. He's a guy standing with freedoms, all freedoms, and change of policy. That's surprising considering you have a rival platform. I do like truth more, and I'm staying on truth. But censorship was plagued on Twitter before, very censored on there. Elon has stopped that, and he does a good job, by the way. What about Mark Zuckerberg? Now, if we're talking about censorship, a lot of censorship, look no further. Zuckerberg is the definition of a fragile man, very fragile and very weird, that has the obsessive need to pander to a specific audience. And you're not saying that because he disagrees with you, right? It's not even that. My own wife disagrees with me over things like protein powder. Not only is censorship a way bigger ordeal, it's also on a grander scale. It's mass manipulation of the people, and Zuckerberg just allowed himself to be a tool to that. Did you snort a loogie or something in the middle of that? What the hell was that grunt? Sometimes a man gets exhausted with doing laborious tasks. By breathing? So who do you think would win in a fight, Elon or Mark? Oh, I don't know. Both are pretty versed with self-defense. Doesn't Zuckerberg know MMA? Not a clue. I wouldn't be surprised if he programmed it into his data set, though, with the way he acts like a cyborg. Well, the reason I ask is because they're supposed to be having a cage match between the two of them. Really now? Rumor has it, from what I heard. Billionaire pitted against billionaire. You can't tell me that won't bring up a spectacle. You've piqued my interest. I might have my financial board contact the event operators to reserve me a front seat. What a stupid thing to waste money on. My money, my problem. Talk to me when your face is carved into Mount Rushmore. And yours is? Give it time. It will be soon enough. Yeah, that'll certainly please the indigenous people. We gave them a whole football team and they weren't satisfied. It's not like we're aiming to be people pleasers here. Well, that was racist, and this will be two adding you up there. How will it be racist to anyone? It'll be racist enough for me. What the hell? What did you do now? I didn't do anything. It just started barking like a rabid dog. You've also been playing this game for the solid side of five minutes. It could just be trying to go emergency mode.
Someone's at the door? Who could be at the door? And why is this man so calm about this? What the hell is wrong with you, Jim? Jim is thinking with the empty gas can he left outside. So we're just opening the door? No second thought? I guess so. I swear this is a similar plot to a Jason Voorhees movie. What a buildup. I don't see anything. And that's all there is to it? I'm starting to question the depth perception of Jim over here. Someone get a birdcage because he's going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So have we been making rounds properly? I don't know if this game tracks time or anything like that. That's what we do when we go out on the deck. The rounds is being on the lookout with your binoculars. I'm going down near the shed again. Nothing's happening here. And we still have no clue what that knocking is. Or was. As it's a horror game, I recommend staying on guard. Do you know who you're talking to? I'm the world's best security guard in the flesh. Men, women, and children are in awe at my magnificent glory. No, they're, they're looking at you because you had bowel movements in a Wendy's. That wasn't him, Barack. Oh, uh, my bad, Joe. Is this dollar store generator still good? Eh, good enough for me. You should go and check the shed regardless. Never know what's hiding in these sort of games. That's a bit suspicious that you pointed us towards it. I always feel like there's something watching us when we have to do these tasks. Well, we're not dead yet. I thought the feds would be in here having a tea party or something. Is that our opposition, this game? The UK's court of law? I wouldn't doubt it. Also, these controls are so wonky on this damn keyboard. The exit is right ahead of you. Yeah, I don't think I'm blind yet, Joe. Thanks for stating the obvious- ah! Who the hell? And now we're officially dead. Wait, what? It must have been a bad dream. So no, we're not dead yet. This man is the dumbest person alive. What makes you say that? He has bath salts for brains or something. You're telling me that he's not connecting these dots yet like it's a puzzle? Some people can truly chalk something up as coincidence. He must be one of them. I dozed off. Better check that everything is okay. With Park Ranger Jim over here, Yogi Bear is burnt to a crisp by now. Yeah, it's only raining. You know, science tells you that water puts out fire. You lost him at science, Joe. Now what? Is the apocalypse happening? Considering the rain, it's, uh, it's probably just a severe thunderstorm warning. You would be correct about that, Barack. A flash flood warning, it seems. That's not good for all of the campers out there. I, I think it's common practice for campers to move to higher altitude when there's difficult weather. What would solve this is not camping in the first place. Or just be a responsible park ranger. Okay, that's asking too much. Well, let's do a recap of what's going on here. We're a park ranger in the middle of nowhere that has to watch over this Indiana trailer park of a forest. More or less, you're on the right track. And so far, we've gotten a weird scream. The generator got cut off and we had that freaky dream of death. That's not the most abnormal thing that's happened to me this week. What? Oh, uh, what's that shiny thing in the distance? Seems to me like it's a light glare or something. Wait, is someone watching us? What? That looks like the reflection from binoculars or something. What the hell, you're right. You what the hell is going on out there? Whatever it is, it can't be good. Do you guys think that it has anything to do with that call from earlier? It, it, it has to be. Some do-nothing Democrat is trying to light this place ablaze right under our noses. We're jumping to conclusions right now. Uh, even if it is someone doing that, we really can't do much about it. Imagine walking down there with a rifle in hand, just accusing someone of looking at us. This is America. If I can shoot someone for trying to sell car insurance at my front porch, I can sure as hell shoot someone for looking at me. Now don't refer to me as a scholar, Don, but you should know that you can't do that. Not for long with the way you're running things. You'll have the Second Amendment abolished soon, and our country will end up looking like France. Why France of all places? Even with the situation at its boiling point over there, I feel like China is still way worse. That's not saying much. Oh, great. We have another prank caller. Wait, did that say camper? It did. Hello? Hi, yes, I'm here. Are you a park ranger? Is it possible to ignore these people? These people are calling in for help, and you're out here treating them like spam callers. I wouldn't be surprised if you did that in real life. Come on, Joe. I would be the best emergency operator. The very best. Knowing you, you would probably try to get the world record for how many people you can let die in a day. Hey, I never said what I would be the very best in. Okay, well, I know this probably sounds dumb, like I'm being overly paranoid, but I think there is somebody watching us in the woods by our campsite. A gun solves all of this. Uh, what's your location? Wait, do we know this by heart or do we have a map that we're gonna use? Barack, that's just common sense now. Yeah, that was a Donald sort of question. Okay, I think I saw your campfire. I'm not too far away. I'm about two miles. 
How many people are you with? There are three of us. We keep hearing things in the woods. I think somebody is there. Probably the federal government telling you hippies to stop living off the land and pay taxes. No, we heard a voice. It sounded like a pig, but not an actual pig, like somebody mimicking a pig. They were mimicking a pig? Boy, they must have been doing a Donald Trump impression. Joe, if I have to stop making age jokes, you have to stop making whatever those jokes are. A fair trade. All of a sudden, comedy is illegal. It sounds like you guys are spooked, but it's highly, highly unlikely anybody is out there. The park is pretty empty this time of year. This just sounds like we're trying to avoid going out and helping the camper. Too bad Jim wants to be an upstanding citizen, because we're going out to help them anyways. I see why we're stuck at a job that pays in Taco Bell coupons. You never know. It could actually be something pretty serious. True. They may actually have Taco Bell coupons, which makes the trip worth it. Imagine being a camper that dies because your park ranger was too interested in some fast food coupons. That just means more Taco Bell for me. Huh, some nice eerie music to go with our walk. Joe, serious question here. What? What in the great state of Arkansas is your son doing? I've been meaning to ask that too. He's acting like he's on a cocaine-driven operation. Who's to say he's not? You say this pretty calmly as if this is just a normal activity in the Biden family. I'm now questioning your methods of raising your kids. You do that regardless. You're disregarding my point. Well, Hunter hasn't really been himself recently. I guess it could just be the growing pains of getting old, but he's been battling with his own mental state for quite some time now. Me and Jill have often encouraged him to get help, and I think he really is trying to be better. Joe, I really try to be a sympathetic person. I know you're going to roll your eyes, but I do try to wear someone else's shoes. Okay. Your son f***ed his niece. That individual statement alone should fully dismiss any empathy that you feel towards him, and you should grab the shotgun. Well... No, we're not condoning this. Your son committed horrible atrocities against humanity. Never heard that one before. I know a father loves his son, but you need to love him like Travis loved old Yeller. I know it's absolutely revolting and disgusting, but he's my son. That's not something a man can just do. Am I on drugs? Did Hunter slip some booger sugar in my water when I wasn't looking? If you're going to approach a serious topic, treat it with respect. Obama, I know we have our disagreements, but am I honestly the crazy one here? Your argument is entirely valid. Hunter has done some incredibly abominable acts. Joe has also raised the kids since birth, so you have to understand his pain as a parent. Now, can you just leave it alone and get to where we're supposed to be? My point still stands, Joe. I'm not shooting my kid, Don. Yeah, you'll just refuse to talk about his secret daughter and will pay millions to keep his crimes quiet. I can't tell who's worse. You monsters are the monsters in these games. And the rain begins to stop as soon as we're about to get there. Hopefully the pig hasn't eaten them yet. I'm more concerned about the Taco Bell coupons. Why are you so fixated on coupons? Aren't you supposed to be a billionaire? I think you should be asking why Taco Bell. Rich or poor, who doesn't love a good deal? Yeah, buy one bowel movement, get one half off. Wait, do you hear that? Hear what? Shh, listen. Sounds like radio static. What the hell? Looks like a shirt. It is, but what is it doing out here? Obama, I got a bad feeling about this. and It's worse than torn up coupons. Right, how close are we to the campsite? We have to figure out what's going on. We're almost there. Keep going towards that static sound. There's definitely something going on around here. Captain Obvious providing useless aid once again. Looks like we're here. Well, Jim, are any campers here to greet you? We gotta check the tents. Here's to hoping they just fell asleep. Yeah, it's not like you already know what's going to happen or anything. Empty. Yikes, that's not good. Uh-huh, and it's not like they could have gone anywhere around here in the puddled up woods. I doubt they're playing hide and seek. Especially if they ran off without their flashlight. They must have left in a hurry. Either way, I'm not liking this. And here's where the static is coming from. A radio, probably what they used to catch the emergency line. On to the third and final tent. They have to be in this one. That's blood! Something tells me this isn't period cramps. Jim, that's enough. It's time to pack it up and call the cops that we are not equipped for this. Someone's screaming. A little girl. We gotta get to her. Hold on, little girl. We're on our way. The plan went down the drain. We need to get to her now. I'm running as fast as I can, Obama. Jim isn't athletic. Run faster. I'm running. I'm running. Is that her? Wait, they. What the hell? Did we just die? What the? Where are we? 
It looks like something. What the hell is going on? Yeah, something tells me that we messed up. Well, Jim, was it worth it going out to find these people? Now we're gonna be mincemeat. Where are we at? This is like some crack house shed or something. Oh, we're naked. What the hell did we get ourselves into? That's the least of our problems. We're in a cage with a bunch of corpses next to us. Don't yell at me. Yell at Jim. He's the one that got us into this mess. Damn it, Jim. Why are you so stupid? Who the hell even is that person? Is that the guy stalking us this whole time? At this point, just kill us. Don't try to scream now. We're dead. What do we even do in this situation? What do you mean, Obama? We die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A Bible verse. So guys, what did you think of Nightwatch? We're not friends anymore, Joe. Ditto.